Hi everyone, Heather here with Time Clock Hub. Today, I'll be giving you an overview of your scheduler. On the left menu of your dashboard, click on Schedule to open the Schedule page. By default, the current month and your scheduled shifts will populate on the right. You can use the options on the left to filter which schedules are displayed. At the top, you can filter schedules by location so that all employee shifts from a specific location are displayed. You can set this to all if you'd like to see scheduled shifts from all of your locations. Under the Employee List tab, you can filter schedules by employee. Click on the employee's name to see all of their shifts for the month. You can also click on Show All Employees to display the schedules of all of your employees. Next to each employee is an envelope icon. Clicking on this icon will send this employee their schedule via email. This function can be extremely useful if any changes are made to an employee schedule. When you click on the icon, you'll see a confirmation that the email was sent. Your employees can log into their dashboard at any time, so each employee should know when they are scheduled or if any changes are made. To the right of the envelope icon is the trash can icon. Clicking on this icon will delete all of the scheduled shifts for the month for this specific employee. You can delete individual shifts by clicking on the X on the top right of each shift. On the bottom left is the payment graph. This is a forecast of what you can expect for payroll. Scroll across the graph to view data for each day. The data is based on the hours scheduled for your employees and the pay wages set in each employee's profile. You can also see the total scheduled hours for the month and the total estimated payroll. This information is extremely helpful when you're doing any type of forecasting. For example, you'll be able to see if scheduled hours need to be deleted in order to stay within budget. On the top right of the calendar, you can change the calendar view from month to week or day. Use the arrows on the top left of the calendar to scroll through months, weeks, or days accordingly. If one of your employees works the same schedule every week, you can click Copy this schedule to another week. A window will pop up where you can designate which employee schedule you would like to copy and which weeks you want to copy the schedule to. You could select weeks individually, or you can click this checkbox to select all weeks. Once you're finished, click Copy Schedules. When you're in daily view, you can copy schedules from one employee to another. For example, you can see here that Melissa is scheduled on this day from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. To copy the schedule to Trina, I'll select Trina's name from the drop-down menu in this column. Then I'll scroll down to the bottom and click Update. You'll see that the shift was copied, including the time, date, location, and job. To delete a shift, click on the trash can icon on the right. To copy an employee's schedule to the next day, check the box in this column and then click Update. You can also copy an employee schedule to the next day in the month view. For example, if I would like to copy this shift to the next week, I'll drag the shift to that day. A pop-up will ask whether I want to move the shift, copy the shift, or cancel. To enter a new shift, click on the day you would like to add the shift to. In this window, you can enter the start and end times for the shift, the location, and the job. If you would like to pay an employee more or less for this particular shift, you can enter an amount here and it will override the wage set in the employee's profile. If you don't need to change the pay rate, you can keep this at zero. Lastly, you can add a note to the shift if needed. When you're finished, click Save and the shift will be added to the employee schedule. Scheduled paid time off is also displayed in the calendar. That way, if an employee is scheduled to be out, you're able to see if there's enough coverage scheduled in advance. To print your schedules, click on the printer icon next to the employee list tab. A window will pop up where you can select a format and then click export. You can also view your schedules in the list view by clicking on this icon.
Again, you can select the format here and then click export. So that's an overview of your scheduler. We hope you are enjoying your time clock. Please let us know if you have any questions. We're here to help. You can always contact us through the chat window, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Thanks for watching.